<clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just get right into it. Hopefully, everybody joins as they need to join, and those who need this message will receive this message. Um, <clears throat> As always, I will post this on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for being here. Hopefully, everyone is having a blessed weekend. I know this full moon is heavy, okay? <laughs> heavy, okay? Um, but y'all stay strong. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Hydrate your body like none other. Um, make sure that you get some self-care, self-love time. Open up a new sage, Palo Santo, hot bath, meditation. Stay away from people who push your buttons. I'm just going to tell y'all now, stay, choose your battles wisely <laughs> in this full moon energy. Don't, don't test it, especially don't test. I'm going to just throw a few signs out there. I'm going to say, don't test nobody nowhere. Okay. Caution to everybody everywhere, because there's a side of some of these people that you ain't never seen before. Okay. <laughs> um, my air signs are at the, like the brim of of breaking somebody's face and i'm gonna just put it like that they're no longer in the mood for those who are trying to mentally manipulate they already caught on a long time ago and they're sick of it okay so i guess i'm gonna have one for each person water signs so air signs that was gemini libra and aquarius don't allow anyone to push your buttons you already know what you know stop second guessing it <clears throat> your intuition is on a thousand let it go. The Delulu energy, whether you feel you're in it or you feel like someone's trying to put you in a delusional energy, it's just time to just don't play the game. Don't even play no more. This can be family, friends, loved ones. Um, I'm hearing about 80 to 90 percent of y'all. This is going to be in regards to your job or your business. OK, stop playing with me. Stop playing with my money is what I just heard. So wherever that fits for my air signs, moving on to my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Um, this is intuitive messages at this time. So just bear with me. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Um, there's a 50 50 energy. Those who find themselves being extremely emotional at this time. I feel like you're coming to a realization that you were holding on to something or someone for too long. You're also acknowledging what you had a part in with the fact that you and this person are no longer, I'm hearing no longer even talking, right? This would be someone who maybe you broke their heart, they broke your heart, people said things that they can't take back and it's kind of like you're coming to a space of being able to really purge it. I will be honest, you will always love this person. I feel like this is a soulmate, a twin flame, something to that nature, but you're gonna find your way just like any other thing that we grieve when we no longer have it or when that connection dies, um, go through the grieving process, right? And you'll come out of it. The other 50% of my water signs, those who are waiting for something big and new and exciting to happen, um, I'm hearing just keep keep enjoying the journey or enjoying learning yourself, loving yourself. This might be because you, again, you've changed. You let go of this other person who possibly might have had like maybe a hold on you. Um, you could have let go of a job, a dead end job, or maybe you're just tired of the status quo and staying stagnant. You're ready for something better. So the more you put yourself out there, then spirit can align things to happen for you, right? But serendipity is not going to happen if you remain like a closed clam in your shell, okay? So go have those adventures. Go and book those trips. Go and book those moments. Go and apply for that new job. You know, seek out new soul tribe people if the, the old friends just aren't the right. For, I'm feeling something like your new spirituality may also have people kind of looking at you sideways. There's going to be a soul tribe that's coming for you as well. But again, you have to put yourself out there to, to meet new people. This doesn't always have to be love, right? Okay. Fire signs. <laughs> All right. Some of you have already made a decision to let go of toxicity that was going on in your life. And I'm hearing congratulations. I can now open the next door for you. Others of you who are still struggling because I'm feeling like this person is either like a husband or a wife, a mom or a dad, a brother or a sister, someone who is like really high ranking in, in your life, someone who like means your whole heart to you, but their ways are just not healthy for you. Either someone wants to control your life, someone has some type of attachment to you where they just, they want you the way that they want you. And this could be, again, it doesn't have to be love. This can be like a, a aunt who raised you and been paying your way and they feel like all that they poured into you, you need to be that person that they want you to be. And it's like, my goodness, you can't control my life. So Again, if you've already released this toxic person, just be on the lookout for doors to start opening for you. Make sure you're opening your mail, checking your email. Um, I'm not going to say picking up all phone numbers because the spam today is on 
a million. But make sure you're at least listening to your voicemails. Um, if you need to revamp your resume or anything like that, make sure you do that this weekend. So do that today before we go into the new week. Those who have not walked away from these family, friends, and loved ones who have I'm I'm seeing like Pinocchio vibes, right? Like it's almost like you're a puppet to them. And I don't mean it in a mean way. Please don't take it that way. It's more of one of those like, but that's my mom, but that's my so-and-so. And And it's like, yeah, but if if you're not seeing the toxicity that they're bringing to your life, my love, you're going to keep going in this cycle where every time you look up and something that you want, this could be a job, this could be a lover, this could be to move away and, and just do what you want to do. That person, if it's not in alignment with what they want, they're going to always tell you, well, you know, that's not going to be the best thing because you got to deal with this, 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 that, that, that. This person like gets you all worked up inside of yourself to where you end up just not making no decision. So if it resonates, just telling you, sometimes we just got to go for what we want in order to have our happiness. But if you want to stay with what's been going on, because it's, I'm hearing it's all, it's like wide open in this person's face. So leaving that there. Um, and then ending with my earth signs. Um, I'm feeling house. Somebody's showing me the, um, like the clip art of a house. So if you've been looking for a house or looking to get your house in order, your finances, your investments, things of that nature, um, I'm feeling like this is the season to do that. I'm also seeing like the doors are shutting to the house. So it's like it's time for you to bring yourself internally at this time. Um, some of you need to get your business plans together. Some of you need to, um, there's something about partnerships and alignments, but making sure that your paperwork is right. So this might be, um, your taxes cause tax season is coming up. So maybe you're going to take the winter time to go ahead and get all your paperwork in, in, in order. This could be looking for accountants. Um, this could be, uh, moving from like a certain type of LLC to another type of business entity, getting your EIN, doing your research. And again, this is I'm trying to stay as broad as possible because I know everybody's not owning their own business. This could be a, a couple different things that you just want to get in order your resume. Um, somebody wants to look at their retirement plan, things of that nature. So when it comes to your business, your career, your industry and your retirement, that timeline three, five and ten is what I was just told as well. So if you're looking at setting goals, three, five and ten, I'm hearing months and years. So three, five and ten months or years whatever that means for you but my earth signs just want to get their house in order and i'm also hearing that's your internal house meaning like your spirit your mind your body because i'm hearing father son and holy ghost as well you might have been seeing three 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 here lately or you see triples triple sevens triple zeros things of that nature but you're being called to also kind of any type of cleaning around the house right just find a way earth signs i just want y'all to know y'all would function so much better with feng shui in your life, right? Make sure you're bringing all four elements into your home, but also make sure that your your home has like a flow to it, right? You're not running into anything. It just kind of puts your mind at ease. I know it may seem silly, but that's what spirit just gave me. All right. Also, anything to do with family members, friends, loved ones, everyone will start to be on the same page. I know the holiday season coming up, people be having a lot to say, a lot to input. My earth signs is who I'm on at this point. Someone might've just asked that. So my earth signs, um, just shrug it off. You know what I mean? The the holiday season brings a lot of tension because people want to, are you coming in town? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Who's blah, 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 blah. Find your, find your, find your quiet corner. Thank you, spirit. Find your quiet corner and allow the other family members and friends to squabble it out this year. All right. You got too much on your plate. Okay. So that's just general intuitive messages. That's not what brought me here, but that's clearly what spirit still had for everybody. So I'm sitting here minding my business, shuffling the cards, just trying to cleanse the decks and something came out. So I'm gonna show you all the cards that came out. I'm getting nervous now. Somebody nervous? Don't be nervous with me, lovey. I promise. I'm only of God's child. I'm I'm God's child here. All right. (laughs) Don't be nervous. Y'all are so welcome. The first card out was um, elusive, dishonesty, deception, trickery. The next card out, spying, social network, information ways. (sighs) stress, turbulence, tension, arguments, abandoned, left out, walked away cold. I feel like someone was trying to hold on a mask, right? Trying to make someone, and I don't even think they were trying to make, okay, I have person A and I have person B. Put yourself where you need to be. Reverse the roles as need be. This is an all over collective reading. (laughs) There goes hiccups. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, So only take what resonates for you. All right. Person A, I feel like 
found someone that they end up really liking. Like really liking, right? They they really enjoyed person B's personality, the way they looked, the way they talked, just the way the juices just flowed, the vibe. It was just like, I like just being around you, right? But at the same time, I feel like person A was also on this, but but like second guessing energy, like, but where you come from and what's your real stilo and you probably got a wife or a husband at home or they were looking for a Jerry Springer background to, <laughs> to person B. I don't know any other way to say it. They were waiting for a Maury storyline to pop up because you seem maybe too good to be true person B. Okay. Because of that person, A decided to kind of like be a little elusive with you, right? Kind of pulling back, seeing what you would do, almost like kind of testing you. I'm just going to keep it above. Maybe they were texting you all the time. Then I don't know where they just stopped texting. They wanted to see what you would do. They threw in your face that they had gone on a date or something like that. They wanted to see what you would say. Anything like that where it was like, whoa, that caught me. Like, because I know I'm not the only person you talk to. Or I know you don't really find me that attractive. Like they started making comments like that because they found themselves really liking you. But it was like they wanted to kind of figure you out because you're too good to be true. So I know you got some shit with you. Okay. So person B, I do think that there was a, some type of conversation or communication, or at least we kind of resolved that, uh, what, is, what do they call that energy? <laughs> I don't know, that awkward energy, right? Y'all resolved whatever that awkward energy, but this person was, is still holding, person A is still holding on to the fact that they really like you, but they just don't know if it's safe to really like you. So person B, I think you just got tired of it. Got tired of the like showing that you still want to pursue this. And I think you started pulling back. So now person A, I feel like is all trying to figure out if you really do have somebody else. So there might be a little bit of a stalker going on, but they're sad because they know they did it to themselves. That's where this sorrow is coming from. Yeah, they wanted they didn't want to get too deep too soon or they were afraid to get deep with you. They could see the value that you were, the awareness of your value. It's something like. I just don't want to be a simp or I don't want to get caught up or I don't want to look stupid or <sighs> what are you dating for if you're not trying to get vulnerable? What are you dating? What's the point of you dating? Why not just say I'm just having a good time and run from person to person? Maybe that's what they were doing and then they didn't expect to really like you. But <sighs> when you like somebody, what is the problem? Problem with saying I like you. Can someone answer that for me? What's the problem? Like, we're not kids. Okay. Let's just see what else comes out here. What's elusive? Hoping. Didn't I say this person? Their elusive energy. I don't think it's because that person A is trying to play with your mind. I think that they think it's too good to be true. They're really hoping and having faith that that maybe you'll they'll get another opportunity. <laughs> Trying to manifest what y'all had in the beginning because they know that they tainted this connection. It's just I don't know. All right. Sunflowers may have something to do with something. Maybe somebody was supposed to go to the pumpkin patch also. Um maybe y'all joked about getting matching pajamas for Christmas. I'm just trying to give y'all more insight to what Spirit's giving me. Um, somebody may like the movie Booty Call, if you know that movie. Um, I don't know. I don't know why this person did this instead of just admitting that they really were liking you. Maybe they just thought they were liking person B too, too soon. Conflicted decisions, hot and cold, multiple choices. Like I said, this person goes back and forth. I Listen, baby. I feel like they just they put this they put this they put y'all connection in this situation when it didn't have to be like that epiphanies understanding and awakening and longing for you but their pride their goddamn pride this is a collective reading all signs arrogant stubborn they got ego going on all right well we'll just keep going because I don't really know what this person is. Ex I don't know what person A is expecting. I know person B is kind of done with it for the most part. What's fine? <laughs> Pretending mass exaggeration bluff. Oh, they have a private. Oh, they have an account that you don't know about. 
Yep, they have an account that you don't know about. It's a divine masculine, possibly. Someone may be trying to talk to you from another account. <laughs> just, I just seen this person creating an account to try to talk to you as if they were someone. This could be male or female, okay? This person A might have created another account and then they're like flirting with you in your DM or something like that. That may resonate. <laughs> I'm out of here quickly. Let's get these cards out of here. Um, ecstasy, chasing thrill, excitement, good time. This person is definitely trying to figure out where you're putting your time and your energy because you ain't texting me no more. You ain't around me no more. You ain't flirting with me no more. That's what they keep thinking. Where, what are you doing at 10, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night? If you put up a post or something real late and it seems real elusive, they're like making up a whole storyline of what you could be doing. Listen, mixed signals, blocked emotions. They're messed up about this. They are. Whatever they're seeing online or you're posting new pictures or you just moved on with your life. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> I can't. But you did it to yourself, person A. Let's keep going. What's the stress that you get, <clears throat> that you have good boundaries now? This person may feel like they're a twin flame or that you're a twin flame, but I don't think you believe that. I think you think this person is more of a, a a karmic lesson. Person B, I feel like, thinks this is a karmic lesson. Person A feels so wrapped up. Yeah, you're withdrawn. Like I said, person B is withdrawn from this situation, but person A feels like you could have been a, a twin flame or a soulmate just because of what they felt so quickly for you. What's under twin flames? This could be your twin flame that this already happened. This don't happen. Nah, didn't I say this person feels like you're a twin flame or a soulmate? They are stressed out. They want you to open your heart. <laughs> I mean, y'all remember that um, episode where Martin was like, because you can step, Gina, you can step. And Gina started leaving. He was like, Gina, 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 Gina. That's given this. Somebody was in their pride and their ego. This could be someone you dated recently. This could be someone that you've known for a long ass time. And they thought that they would be able to play because y'all have some type of soul contract that you would always keep your heart open to them. But you done healed and you see this thing from a different perspective and you done found the beauty within. And I don't think that you're getting ready to share this with with this person. This person is shattered. They're heartbroken now. Maybe they ghosted the situation or they feel like you're trying to run from them. Ah. <laughs> OK, I'm going to get out of this quickly. I ain't going to be here too much longer because somebody done lost their damn mind. What's abandoned? avoiding blocking pushing away so this person well i'm hearing what goes around comes around <laughs> yo spirit ain't using no vaseline with this person what goes around comes around you're feeling everything that person b felt so person a you're feeling everything that you left person b with feeling and having to heal and having to face and have to just be honest with themselves about that's all that's going on you want them to return you do, but you're going, yeah, at the breaking point. And look, sitting here with this damn laptop, trying to figure out what the fuck you got going on. I'm trying to, excuse my language. Person A is trying to be on your heels. They want to know everything you got going on. And if you've had someone recently jump in your DMs and their profile look a little sketchy, I would be just caution. Caution. Okay. Let's escape in. So this is what this person does to escape. They go to attachments, third parties. They go play with their friends or, uh, again, this is the infinity symbol. So let's be clear. What goes around comes around. What you send out shall come back. So this person has now created new toxic karmic cycles for themselves that's also keeping you away from them. So not only do they have past life or childhood issues or whatever you want to call that, right? They also have these third-party karmic contracts that they keep creating as well. So just caution to the wind. If your twin flame soulmate came back and they're all, because I love you, right? With that Lenny Williams, I love you. <laughs> just know that they need to show that they have closed out everything. So if this person only calls you at work, um, again, male or female, this person only calls you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or they can only get together if there's a schedule, to any type of connection with this person, they still got third parties. 
And I'm not asking, I'm not hinting at, I'm telling you. Because that's what spirit's giving me. If there's any type of schedule, oh, you can come by my, my son's um, practice every Thursday. That's the only time you can see me. You don't have no spontaneous moments at any point that you can see me. Why? Because you got somewhere else that you need to be that you don't want to tell me about. So I'm just putting that out there. This person still fantasizes about you. One day we'll get together, imagining that this will come together, right? That God will still keep some type of window open for them. Didn't I say they hope? They hope to have the possibility of being that free spirit with you again. But right now, they feel real rejected, abandoned. But at the same time, they got to go through the same pain and healing you've already been through. And there goes that divine masculine again. I don't make it up. I'm not picking on nobody. This I didn't say a male, right? Don't y'all be sending me no emails, all right? Because auntie will come and pull up on you. I'm saying the divine masculine, someone who should have led themselves towards the person they wanted, should have stood in their power. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. At some point in time, you got to take the lead in your own life. Like I said, you got these family, friends, and loved ones in the background telling you what to do. Step into your divine masculine energy, right? Pull, pull, you know what I mean? How they say, let your balls hang and really make that decision for yourself, male or female. That's what you, somebody was supposed to do. It didn't happen like that. All right. Because I can't. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't stir the whole ass, you know, cauldron and then be wondering why shit went awry. I'm just trying to understand. This person knows that you are of some type of true, godly, spiritual contract. They know it. The twin flame and this this deck is like almost damn near like 80, 90 cards. We got the twin flame and the soulmate. This person knows that you were God sent to them. Just want to put that out there. All right, we're going to get a few of these um, island wellness cards. And then I'm going to get some butterfly kisses um, to see what this person has to say. And I'm up out of this because I don't. Free will is a thing. This person has every right to keep staying right in this if they want to. Or they can heal themselves and see what God has in regards to the possibility of getting their person back. But you can't have it both. You can't, can't have it both. Can't have them both. Can't have both lives. Yeah, somebody already left this situation. Receiving what you need, moving on, closing out this issue. I'm hearing it's not my it's not my issue anymore. Maybe somebody called you to like maybe person A called person B to like vent about life and person B was like, "Look, you're not my issue no more." Like I don't I don't owe you to be on this phone. I don't owe you to help you out. Like I don't owe you for none of that, right? Yeah. I've already healed from this. Now this person needs to do the same. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. You've moved on past this. This person needs to do the same because, like I said, they got them third-party attachments. And that could even just be friends. It ain't got to be lovers. I hate people like, I don't even be running around in the streets. But you be running around with these friends who's toxic as shit, giving you horrible-ass advice. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let me get two more cards here, Spirit. Break, or, break up or separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. Abandonment. Like, that we're done with this. It's a wrap. That's it. That's all. Finito is what somebody, I just heard somebody say. Finito. But they, they still like you. They still want to date you. Person A still wants to be around you. What's this lightning about? Oh, that you moved on. You don't want to be a you don't want to be one of many options. You don't want to talk to this you don't want to connect to this narcissistic energy, toxic energy anymore. It's shocking how much you've changed. It's shocking how much you've grown. It's shocking that you really are making your dreams. This is person A. You've grown so much, you've healed so much. I can't trigger you anymore. You really see through the bullshit. I can't heart fog you anymore or love bomb you no more. This person is really having an epiphany about how much person B Damn, it's beyond just the, like, before you had their heart, but like now, oh my gosh, you have no idea. Person A is so in love with you, and it, and they're so fucking, like, somebody is like, sometimes somebody be stomping their feet. Like, I can't goddamn believe this. Like, yeah, you missed out on the best, like, some of the best parts of person B. That person A knows it now. Got to be more careful. All right, let's see what uh, messages you and this person can have to say to one another. 
take what resonates. This is a collective reading. Who's Melvin? I don't know who Melvin is. But the uh, crown. Thank you so much, loves. Crown chakra, wisdom, spirituality, union, and connection. You knew all along who this person was. They're just waking up to who y'all are. Has someone recently started watching tarot or reading their horoscope? Trying to figure out what you know and why you know it so soon or how you stay 10 steps ahead of them. Like you may have meant, like person B may have mentioned to person A, I knew you was going to call. I could feel you. Or y'all might have texted the same time and person A was like, oh my goodness, we texted the same time. It, look at God. It's like, yeah. Person B was like, yeah, let's, let's look at God, actually. <laughs> Not you open your Bibles to Psalms 23 on them. <laughs> to get that out but um let's just keep going i'm not even going to get back into that silly energy because i could be here all day um e or n initials of your name it could be your person's name or just someone in the mix of this situation oh somebody's about to break out the tambourine and start doing the collection plate okay like finally we have the come to jesus moment um what else is going on here yeah, saying goodbye broke me into pieces. I didn't want to leave, but I had to go. It was the best thing for me and my growth, but it hurt like hell. Someone knew that they, whatever it was, they didn't tell you why they left, but they damn sure left. And they damn sure knew they didn't want to go, but they were people pleasing. Somebody was people pleasing. I don't know what, and I'm not going to get into, well, what was, somebody just asked, well, what was the opportunity? Was it a third party? Everybody's going to be different. Y'all just know that this person did leave for something that they found as a shiny, their new shiny pet. It could have been a job. It could have been a person. It could have been the family saying they would give them money if they walked away from you. I'm, I'm seeing a whole plethora of things. Some of you know that there was a baby or there was a miscarriage. There should have, because I just heard should have been. Okay. Please give me another chance. I wish I never walked away. I wish I never ended things. I wish I tried harder. Can we start again? Mm -mm. B or O, initials of their name, your name, or someone in the midst of the situation. It could be a first, middle, or last name, or a nickname. I'm not going to get in. Oh, goodness, I'm getting so many nicknames. We're not going into nicknames today, ladies and gents. I would love to give names, but... Nisi, Edward, Brian, Bobo, Octavia, Nancy, Nick, Nunu. And they call you Nunu because of the movie um atl movie all right take time away from it all clarity will come you need to disconnect from all that's going on in the silence you will find your answer person a you need to disconnect and stop bringing everybody into your life is what this card is giving me right there are some friends who haven't got their shit together they haven't had an epiphany moment in their life so you wanting to settle down and have a family and it don't vibe with what they got going on. And that could be either way, hot girl or hot guy summer situation all year round. I'm not, I read for all genders. Some of y'all need to think about who you're asking for insight from. If somebody has been in toxic ass relationships all their life, I don't think that they're the person we need to get a counseling session from. Just saying, right? I don't show up at Red Lobster to get an oil change. <laughs> Hello, let's somebody wake up. Holla if you hear me. Say it two times for the people in the back. Come on now. Listen, I'm sorry. I can I can go there sometimes. I can, but it needs to be said. Oh, shit. Square peg, round hole. It just don't, don't work. Next card out. <laughs> Someone is shaking their legs. Somebody else feels coldness around their legs. Somebody else feels uh, tingling or something on the right side, possibly just in your leg. This uh, just a sign that this resonates with you in some way. <sighs> Ask me, I'll say yes. Someone is ready and waiting to be asked the question, ready to take the leap, ready to put on the ring. Somebody is hoping that one day, one day, because you would have said yes. There was a period of time that you would have said yes to this person. I be, and that could have been yes to an engagement, yes to taking it to the next level, yes to moving into to moving in together. Whatever y'all talked about the next stage was, you would have said yes to that. They're hoping that that, that opportunity comes around again. Yep. Yeah, they're hoping that that opportunity comes around again. That whatever's going to be proposed in the future, that that's, 
that you'll take it. Some of y'all, I just, you just don't want to believe in it no more. It's too much. It's too heavy to have to believe in it. Yeah, your intuition's on a million up with that. Clarity, intuition, higher perspective. You already know that this person is not in a healthy mind and body for you right now. And that's what you're going to hold on to. Not the good old times. Uh-uh. And I'm hearing those books. Those books is just as dusty. <laughs> what, did he, what did that boy say? Because you need your hair cut and you're dusty. <laughs> that's how you're looking at this person. Uh-uh. But from a soul level, right? Like they could still look fine as ever, but their soul is just a little dusty. Like you need to clean that up. <laughs> ah. oh okay oh yeah well right now it's passionless in their world since you've left the fire is out the passion for life and love no longer exists and the thrill is gone this baby just some of them is having a hard time getting through that if they are they got somebody or if they're trying to have one night stands with people, they're having a hard time getting through that session without thinking about person B. Person A is having a hard And I ain't going to lie, because spirit just put me D. Person B, some of y'all haven't had that person A, you know, WWE session in a long time. And y'all think about it, but I ain't putting your business out there. <laughs> what do you all say? I ain't going to tell nobody else. <laughs> Smokey back here taking the shit. Um, it was one of those moments. I am putting you out there, though. Um, but person A really finds that there's just something about you. But of course, this is a twin flame soulmate situation. Can't nobody, can't nobody feed your soul, your mind, and your body like this person. Everybody else is real topical. Just saying, person A. Give me um, two more cards. We're going to close this out with what needs to be surrendered. You're this person's fantasy. Making love is what I want to do, but I need a true friend to make it come together. I really need you. Oh, this is, I really love you. I love you, Deja. Just give me all your love. Okay. Um, yeah, person B is like, oh, that's cute. All right, change the channel now. Go on about your business. Tell your mama I said hi. You know, tell your grandma I'm keep making them green beans, but go on now. <laughs> like, person B is not, person B cannot be swayed easily. I'll tell you that. It, it's going to take more than nostalgic songs and music and movies y'all used to watch. Like, movies y'all used to watch, songs that remind you of that person, cologne scents, perfume scents, all of that keeps popping up, but it's not enough for you to really feel nostalgic. Like, Person B is still not an I like it's just just be like, oh, here we go with this shit again. Like that's how person B is because they know that person A has not fully changed. That's the only reason why. It's not because they despise they might despise you. That's that could be true. Let me not say that. I'm not gonna put any words in anybody's mouth, but somebody could despise somebody. But I'm just saying, you not being in the right energy just it don't do it for them. Could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius in this situation. Feels like it's one party or the other, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Doesn't have to be. I, I want you to have my children. This person wants you to have their children or they wish they would have had children with you. All right, two more and I'm out for real. Keep feeling like y'all energy. Like just a couple more, auntie. <laughs> And their silence is just another word for their pain. Someone is keeping quiet because how they are currently feeling is just too painful for words that you that they know that you're not gonna you're not gonna come back like just like that. Well, the one that's all the way up and around the corner and and through the woods of my desk that I ain't about to get down and get because y'all ain't about to get this players club ass all in the air. Um, is the solar plexus. <laughs> Sorry, I said that. The solar plexus chakra, um, purpose, happiness, self-worth, and standing in your power. So this person needs to take a, a rule out of your playbook to be, to go towards what they feel in their heart is calling them, to stand in their own power, to have self-care, self-love, self-control, I also heard. Ooh. All right, I'm getting one more card and I'm, I'm out. Oh, shit, I didn't even see this. I ride by your home because I miss your face. Wow, someone did something 
said some other things and completely forgot about everything that meant something to them. Now they miss you and frequently they go past your home just to get a glance or hoping to get a glance of you. All right, that's all I got. All right, we're going we gonna to stop right there. <sighs> Listen to your gut. Your intuition is right. Follow that feeling and answer the calling. Some of y'all, it could, like I see some of y'all saying, nope, they don't know where I live. We started this thing with this person being what? Spying online. So they don't got to know where you physically at. All right, let's be clear. They're going through family and friends who are connected to you trying to figure out where you at and what you up to. Some of them are hoping like if you are known to go away for your birthday or something, they're hoping that your family or friends or your close network people will put up pictures of y'all together. So be on the lookout for that too. Um, meet me at the altar. This person wants to build a solid foundation. They were planning. They were, they, I, I just got to be honest. The weirdest thing is they know that they were running away from the situation, but yet deep in their heart, they were still hoping that they would plan a marriage with you, which makes no sense. How do you run away from someone, but deep in your heart, holding on to that? Possibly we're going to plan a marriage. Wow. Love, compassion, balance, and unity. This person, it might come back around in the springtime, March, April, or May offering you their heart or showing you something from a heart perspective, meaning getting emotional, revealing the truth, showing them the desires and saying the things they they used to always hold back. That may happen in the springtime. Be on the lookout for it. All right. Last but not, if anyone is interested, I do have two more of these decks on my Etsy shop. So circle the block. It will come with the free gifts after this um, round of cards. I don't know if I am reprinting, but if I do, it will not come with the free gifts. Okay. All right. Let's uh, see what spirit wants y'all to surrender out of this damn connection. Because, child, give me two for A and then I need two for B because y'all clearly are knowing two separate pages <laughs> when it comes to this spiritual journey thing. Tomorrow is late spring. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Let's see what else comes out here. What do these people need to surrender? Hmm. When this person connects with you, if this happens for y'all in the springtime, the spring of 24, and they may start it out with trying to be silly, okay? They may start it out with trying to break the ice, Allow them just a moment to get their giggles out, right? Don't immediately be like, see, this is what I'm talking about. You ain't never got them serious. Like, don't do that, okay? Person B, give them, give them a little grace because they're going to be very nervous. Not saying to get them off the hook of anything, but just let them get the nervous energy out of them first. All right, two cards for person A. One more for person A. And two cards for person B. All right. And then the bottom of the deck is going to be both of y'all. So person A, surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Person A may have thought that they knew better than you or could get better than you or that the people in their corner knew better than what they knew about your connection. I don't fucking know. Excuse my language. This person takes everyone else's consideration into mind but yours. It was like an undermining tone that they had with you. No matter what person B may have said, oh, you should try this, you should try that, they would still run back to their group and their group would go against what person B, right? So there's something about that. There's something about either the person in their life, person A's life, always needed to be right. And then they kind of absorbed that energy and brought it into this relationship. They need to change that. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay happy to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. This person may have some other things wrapped up in the reason why they can't run back to their person. They're trying to figure out other ways because I'm seeing blueprints. I'm seeing plans. I'm seeing like bank accounts or some type of accountant, like numbers, crunching the numbers. This person's trying to find a way to get out of something that they got into. It could be that they, I don't know, they could have had a baby, they could have got married, they could have started a business. It's a couple different things that I feel like this person's trying to figure it out because it's. A, I'm hearing it's a, a, a some type of web that they weaved and they got caught up in, okay? But they know what that is. It could be a couple, they could have promised somebody, oh, I'm going to stay at your house for two years and help you with the mortgage. And it's like, damn, how can I get out of this? And I don't know. All right. 
Person B, surrender your <laughs> desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goal, back off, regroup, and give the, way, the situation some breathing room. Which I think y'all have. I think y'all have tried your best to have this person see from your eyes, see from your perspective. I don't think you were controlling them. I think you were trying your best to get them to understand where you were coming from to the point that it might have become a little obsessive, right? Because a person's still going to be a person. They can see through your eyes, but it doesn't mean that they have to change their thought change their decision right so i think person a tried their best to see person b but i think because you were so hurt and they just weren't responding that you were like nah you're not getting it you clearly don't get it and it's like they may never get it the way you get it because you hurt the way that you hurt they're hurting in a whole nother way right right now though um I also have another side of this card that I do want to talk about. Y'all can't control whether or not God just going to assign you a new twin flame. Because I see some of y'all like praying and it feel, to me it looks like, well, I want to put in a, um, a request to have Idris Elba as my twin flame. My first twin flame doesn't work out for me. It just, it didn't fit. So I want to return it. I got the receipt, God, if you want to take this person back. Um, I'm returning them the same raggedy ass way you gave them to me. So I don't see no problem with me going ahead and just exchanging. So you can't control that journey. Okay. I just want to put that, put that out there. Um, surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Some of y'all are wondering when the soulmate energy comes in since the twin flame ain't shit. And I'm going to say it just the way y'all just said it to me. Some of y'all feel like y'all don't want to, um, the poison apple, right? You don't want to drink the Kool-Aid from your twin flame. You know that person has a way, right? They have a little place in your heart, whether you tell people this or not, whether you agree with me or not, there's always that little space that this person has because that's your twin flame, right? Your soulmate. But you no longer want to keep playing that game. So it's more of a thought process of if God is going to bring my twin flame into my life one more time because I'm ready for real love, true love, okay? All right, and at the bottom of the deck... Surrender to non-action. There is uh, now. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So this person over here, hmm, I think I. I'm let's be honest. I, I think you need to reevaluate internally. Get yourself some real good self-esteem, self-confidence, and then make move. You over here, person B. I think you ready, like, as soon as they do, I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, you you are waiting on go, okay? You got the sawed off with the extra, you know, Rambo belt on. As soon as, soon as you want to light this motherfucker up, I'm going to meet you there, okay? Ten paces and draw, okay? You calm down, okay, you <laughs> person B. When I get this, it's the fact that you're not going to have to make a decision right now, right? In time, in time. And, that, and some of y'all need to tone it down, too, because when it comes to this person, you have no problem shooting off the truth to them, right? Like, your tongue can be like blades, okay? But God wants you to kind of bring it back, right? Allow this person to admit their faults versus you shoving it down their throat of what they did and why you do it like that. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come on. And I don't even think it's like this part of you that isn't healed. It's just more of you want this person to admit what they did, it's like, how can you say sorry for something that you don't even believe that you did? And spirit, God, universe understands it. But they want you to stand down, right? Put away the SWAT siren and allow person A to go through it to where they see what they did and they can come to you and finally admit it. I'm telling you, it's going to be so much more healing for them to just say it versus you like and remember that time. OK, under that is both of y'all need some some sleep. And some rest because the energetic back and forth that y'all have at night is on a million. Okay. All right, my loves. Let's see what we can get something from spirit. Y'all know I don't like to end this thing unless spirit gives y'all some type of guidance. So let's just get one card out for both of y'all. And I'm up out of here. Okay. We know what needs to be surrendered. All right. I just heard can person be um, still date? You sure can. Free will is a thing. Okay. Person A has free will to never get healed in this lifetime. There's no guarantee. There's no damn guarantee. And ain't nobody about to sit at this bus stop. You done lost your damn mind. 
Not when there's a Ferrari and a damn uh, yacht waiting for me. You think I'm sitting at this bus stop waiting for you and there's a Ferrari that just pulled up to take me to the yacht? You done lost your damn mind. I'll see you next lifetime. Or maybe I won't. We'll all be surprised. Either way, you figure it out because I am. That's what person B is talking about, okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm seeing some type of like... Harriet Tubman, I'll, I'll send you the songs waiting in the water and I'll make sure the stars are aligned. But baby, you got to do what you got to do. I got to keep moving, right? <laughs> I got to keep moving. One card for person A. Okay, didn't fully flip. So what are you trying to say to person A, spirit? One card for person A. Oh, and they got two. Of course they got two. Oh, of course they got those two. Never mind. Person B. I guess y'all need two, too. One more. All right. And the bottom of the card is both. I mean, bottom of the deck is both, y'all. So, person A, we already talked about you having decisions, cuz. Oh, I ain't mean to call you cuz. Like, I don't mean that like that, West Coast people, okay? Don't come over here with that shit. Um, perfect actions are shown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer all decisions to you. May I trust during times of transition that the perfect actions will be shown. Grant me patience to allow events to align as they need to. This person needs to also put up their guard in the right place. They're putting boundaries towards the pe towards their the love of their life versus the people who keep them in toxic cycles. All right. And this is what I call my soulmate card in this deck. Longing. I offer my deepest desires. Change me, divine beloved, into one who offers you my deepest longings. Trusting you know exactly how to handle them. Let me know my wholeness and freedom. Most of all, you are free. You don't have to stay connected to this negative. Anyways, moving on. I can't keep preaching. Um, you can lead a horse to water, baby. You can throw them in that motherfucker. Okay. And they still won't drink. Moving forward. Um, person B, sorry. Generosity. I am abundant love. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can easily send blessings to all. Even those filled with negativity or fear. So I do think that person B still sends love and prayers to person A. I don't feel like y'all are like wailing at the altar every Sunday. But I do think y'all are like, I do hope that this person really does heal. Um, may I shower the planet with love, knowing there is an, an unlimited ocean within me. And I hear I'm not too good to give grace. I'm not too good to give, you know, um, forgiveness, right? God forgave me for a lot of things that I did. I, who am I to say that you can't be forgiven and become better? But you got to show and prove it. Um, on uh, side, person B, sorry. I know my true identity. May I always remember my true identity, unlimited light and love. Let me know myself as pure consciousness. Wake me from the sleepwalk of believing I am only human. Y'all are on a real serious spiritual journey. This comes back to meditation, yoga, working out, chakra healing, shadow work, journaling. Um, some of you go are doing mindfulness training or you go for walks. Um, I'm hearing Reiki music. I'm hearing aura cleansing of some way, um, burning bowl rituals, um, full moon rituals. A lot of y'all are just getting tapped into your spirituality. So everybody's not out here with the crystals and the sage, but whatever that means to you that's, that you know you're getting closer to God and getting more in line with, with your spiritual journey and why you were born in this lifetime, kudos to you. At the bottom of the deck is uniqueness. I, I accept my own nature. Change me, divine beloved, into one who embraces my own uniqueness. Let me accept my own nature completely, knowing it too is divine. May I love myself as I am, not as others say I should be. Person B has already kind of tapped into this and they continue to stand in this. Person A, may I love myself as I am, not as others say I should be or who I should love or what I should decide, right? Standing in your own power and commanding life and, and manifesting what you want and saying no to people or things that aren't aligned with your highest good, that's shadow work, right? But we're not going to go down that journey. I hope that this was able to give somebody some insight <laughs> somewhere. I appreciate y'all. If y'all are just getting here or you want to be able to run it back, make sure you're following me over on YouTube. The Healing Butterfly is my channel. It's my only channel, The Healing Butterfly. So as soon as TikTok allows this to be downloaded, I will make sure that it's uploaded over there for y'all. Thank y'all so much for following me, for tuning in. I truly appreciate y'all. I know I ain't been around, but auntie's getting, getting it together. So... Uh, each and every one of y'all, make sure y'all take care of yourself tonight before you go into this new week. Go into this new week high vibrational with some peace, with some rejuvenation, with some self-care. Go ahead and have that hot bath. Eat that good meal. Take that good nap. All right? 
Until we meet again, sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. Make sure you take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. Y'all are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Lots of love to y'all. Lots of love. Lots of love. <laughs>